Losar in Tibetan means New Year, and it is the most important holiday day in Tibet. Here now is a background report on the history and traditions of that festival. The Losar festival actually predates Buddhism in Tibet, dating back to 1027 AD. As irrigation, cultivation and refinement techniques were introduced, Losar ceremonies became more celebratory as a gesture of thanks to the gods for innovation. Eventually, with the advent of rudimentary astrology, Losar became more than a farmer's festival and evolved into a Buddhist celebration of the New Year. Tibetan New Year festivities take place in January or February each year. Tibetan Buddhists follow the Tibetan calendar, so the date of Losar is different each year. While Losar celebrations used to last for as long as two weeks, the festival is normally now a three-day event. To make a fresh start in the days leading up to the Tibetan New Year, new clothes are made or purchased and houses are cleaned and decorated. On the 29th day of the year's last month, Tibetans would clean their kitchens. The whole family would gather in the evening to eat celebratory snacks such as dough drops known as gutu. The drops are made from cereal and dried cheese with different fillings such as chilies or coal. The fillings are supposed to be a light-hearted reflection of the eater's character. <laughs> People usually spend the first day of Losar with members of their immediate family. They wear their new garments and greet each other with gifts of five cereal containers and highland barley wine. This is followed by oatmeal and barley refreshments fried in butter prepared the previous day. On the second and third days of Losar, people visit friends and other family members who don't live close by. They may also pay a visit to their local Buddhist temple, monastery or shrine and make offerings as part of the purification rituals for Losar. Losar is also an important time for Buddhist monks. The monks spring clean their monasteries and put up special decorations. They recite as and perform rituals to rid negativity lingering from the old year and to purify the new year. Jonathan Powell, CCTV.